let me show you how fast it is to do the security. Ready, and boom, laptop, boom, liquids, done. Back in, zip, done. Let's talk about how to get through airport security. So after you've checked in and you have your boarding pass and you have dropped off your check-in luggage, you're gonna go find the security line. So once you're standing there, just make sure you're trying to get all of your stuff ready. So what I like to do is just put my laptop and my liquids close to the surface because once you get to the front of the line, things tend to move pretty quick. Once you get to the front of the line, the person there is gonna ask to see your boarding pass and sometimes your passport or your government issued ID and sometimes they may you take off your mask if you're wearing one just to make sure your face matches your passport then this person's going to direct you on which line to stand in and you're going to see a line probably there's going to be a lot of people and there's going to be a lot of trays what you do once you get to the line of trays is you're going to first take off your shoes and put your shoes in a tray then you're going to make sure you take out your laptop your liquids and some other electronics like battery packs or ipads if the person is saying to do so and you're going to put that in a tray usually your electronics are in one tray and and then your shoes are in another tray and then you can put your personal item and your carry-on and any other like jackets or so in the trays as well just make sure your liquids are also out of the bag when it comes to liquids the only liquids you can bring are liquids that fit in a quart size bag so i just get this from the 99 cent store here we go. In this bag, you're able to bring creams, paste, aerosols, and it has to be under 3.4 ounces per item that goes in the bag. So let's just say this is my favorite Korean skincare matcha hemp cleanser. This is four ounces. So even though it can fit in here, you cannot bring that because it is now four ounces, not 3.4. So what you wanna do is just get a bunch of little travel items and put those inside the quart size bag. There you go. And this is actually three ounces, even though it looks bigger. If you are bringing through a water bottle or a cup or a coffee cup of some type, make sure there's no liquid inside because you are not allowed to bring liquid minus in that quart size bag through the security. If you do have liquid, and I have forgotten once before, they will make you either throw the cup and the liquid away right there, or they're gonna make you drink it. There have been a couple times where I have forgotten, but I really like the water bottle, so I was just there in front of the dude, and I was just chugging a bunch of water. I think it was almost 48 ounces, and it was pretty miserable, so I had to find a bathroom later. So yes, make sure all of your containers are empty, and you can only bring that quart size bag of liquids. Once all your items are on the trays, it's gonna be pushed through, and then there's gonna be an x-ray looking at all of your items just to make sure you're not bringing anything dangerous. So then at this time, you're gonna stand in line to go through this imaging machine thing, and it's just checking for metal. So sometimes you can just walk straight through it. Other times you have to stand in this thing and it goes whoosh, whoosh, and you gotta stand like this. But basically, you're gonna see a picture of what to do and just follow what everyone else is doing. If you do have any issues with metal detectors, or if you have metal inside your body just be sure to let the nice people know because they may just have to do a manual pat down or just use the wand that goes like this whoosh, 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 whoosh. if your bag does get taken for investigation don't freak out you didn't do anything wrong unless you did do something wrong but as long as you don't bring an excess amount of liquids or you're not bringing meats from like another country you're usually pretty good so one time my carry-on got taken and they're like what is that thing it's like this really dense thing they're like what is this girl doing anyways they opened it up and we were coming from hawaii and they just said oh my gosh is this all just spam musubi and i'm like yes that stuff is very dense because you know spam that ca that can last through anything anyways the nice lady just let us go and she just said well enjoy your spam musubi and I said yes I will do that. Also we do like to travel a lot with protein bars so just make sure to separate those within your carry-on bags because when those are all together or when macro bars are all together those just look really dense so if you don't want to be stopped then just try to separate all your dense stuff. Here are just a few quick tips for security. One just do what they say. Don't be argumentative, just do what they say because they're just trying to push everyone through so everyone can enjoy their trip. Next, don't wear bulky items, take them off or else expect a possible pat down. Three, be ready for a pat down anyways, especially if you're wearing anything loose or if you have hair that's in a bun or a braid. Four, don't look overly suspicious. Five, be nice, but don't be overly friendly. Six, keep the line moving, you got this. Seven, don't wear complicated shoes because you need to get them on and off fast. 
and eight. Try to pack your bag in a way that's easy to take things in and out of. What I like to do with my personal item is I like to keep my zipper for my laptop facing up so I can then slide my laptop in and out easily. I also keep my liquids on top so I don't have to rummage through my bag. If you wanna see more tips for traveling, be sure to take a look at my travel playlist, which I'll link right here.